Hey, this is Simon here with a quick little haul I got from a friend of mine. Um, well, we'll just start off with uh, one of the more unusual things. Uh, usually I don't get these, but I mean it was free, so I don't know. Kind of happy to have it. Different. I like it. Uh, from 2009, it's a dive bomber by Matchbox. Um, very cool little plane. Really do like this one. Uh, very different. Pretty good shape. Nothing's missing on it. So that's pretty good. Uh, got some classic cars, monster trucks, and truck cars. This is Metropolitan. Really don't like these cars. They don't really work very well on track or anything. Not of any use to me whatsoever. Purple Passion seems kind of crazy, but I don't have a Purple Passion. Um, so that's quite good that I found one. Uh, nothing special about this one, just a regular one. I'd like to find an older version, but for now this is okay. I believe this one, oh, it's not going to say it's really steep. But, plastic base, metal body. Um, yeah, like I said, nothing really super special that I know about. Uh, yep, and then that, moving on, he's so fine, no lime green, I don't actually have this one yet, so that's good for me, um, it's okay, not really good track card, looks cool, that's pretty much it, I think this is a, I don't even know what this is, 72 Ford Falcon, uh, pretty nice, Looks pretty new. Um, this one hasn't had a lot of wear, which is good. Um, no scrapes or damages. Pretty mint. Uh, I do like this car a lot. It might be a good track car. Probably not. A really cheap McDonald's car. Really not that great blue color to it. Um, other than that, I think this is a T-Bird. I don't... I don't know, it's from 2001. Nothing special here. Just a cool little car. Might be okay on the track, though. Roll's pretty nice. Another so fine. This one in black and matte. Uh, got some dings on the roof, and it's missing whole side of that. This happens a lot. I actually have one that's missing both sides. Kind of funny. I have a little collection of those. Not too many. I got like five or so. Uh, Pontiac GTO here in a blue color. I don't have this one. I only have like another another one of these, different color. This one's mint. Uh, 2007 it says on there. Uh, I don't think that's release date. I think this is like 2010-ish area. Uh, otherwise, very nice, neat looking car. I like the flames on that one. Usually I don't like flames, but that one's okay. Moving on to the big old things. I don't usually grab these because the wheels always get bent. And if I do find them, the wheels are usually bent and I don't like spending money new on them. Wild thing, these are actually in fairly good shape. Um, I like this one. It's okay, kind of weird paint job. I don't know if I like the teeth thing going on there. The name's kind of cool. It's got one big old ding right in the back. You can't even see it on camera. Yeah. Uh, I got the Prowler. Well, he looks okay. Bengals color, if you know football team Bengals. Pretty much everybody does. Um, pretty straight. Rolls okay. Um, not too much going on with this one. Pretty cool. Don't have any. I don't really have monster trucks. I used to, but don't really anymore. Uh, Predator. This is probably my favorite one. It's actually the same as this one, just different colors and stuff. Looks a little bit different, but actually the molding, the molding is exactly the same. It's just different paint, and the name's like barely any different. And you can tell the front is pretty much the exact same with the teeth and everything. Pretty cool. Me, the wheels are the same. The body style is the same. 
But yeah, anyways, pretty cool. I like the paint job on this one a lot better. It's probably my favorite one that I got. Probably the favorite one I have. So yeah, it's this one. The wall's pretty nice. Got a little bit of a wobble to it and some dings. Obviously, this was someone else's favorite too. Um, other than that, pretty good shape. Uh, the Incredible Hulk. You can see, first off, it's got a ding right there in the front. Um, yeah, it's missing a lot of paint. And, uh, the back wheel's actually pretty wobbly. So, yeah, this one's, I don't really like this one that much. I'm not a big fan of the Marvel stuff, but I like the car itself, and, uh, I think it's okay. Alright, moving on to track cars. These are cars I would use definitely on the track. I have a couple new ones that I didn't have ever, so I'm pretty stoked about that. I've had, I had this one in a blue. I forget what the other color was. Um, really nice. Wheels are actually pretty straight considering they're the fence covering them, which is pretty good. These usually go pretty well on the track. I have a brown one of these and a blue one. Uh, this one's pretty cool. Nice to have one in really nice shape. Guessing this has something to do with a mantis. Playing, yeah, playing mantis, though. Um, this one's actually really nice. The wheels are a little bit bent on this one. Um, always very straight. Uh, looks like we do okay in the track. I'm wouldn't put it through the boosters and then the Acura I don't have this one and I don't have that one um the Acura Acura I really wanted I never could find it for whatever reason anytime I did I wasn't able to get it so um Acura NSX I think yeah but uh very clean car got some dings on it but it rolls nice, and that's what counts. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, it was pretty close. I was going to say something with Dracula. It's a Van Ven Gagula or something. Um, this light, the one light thing that comes from somewhere I forgot. Um, big old motor on it. These, I, I don't really like these tiny wheels. They don't do well on the track. They... I think they actually slow it down, but cool car, it might do okay. Um, got some wear on the wheels for sure. Paint's pretty nice, and it should do okay on the track, but it won't do any good in the boosters. I don't have this one, and this is probably one of the cars that I would thought get beaten up right away with the wheels being turned, but only this one's turned, which is okay. Um, F1 car. They call it the uh, F1 Racer. Oh, pretty close. It's actually like a teal color. It's not blue. It's just the camera's making it look blue. I don't know why it's doing that. Anyways, um, that's this guy. He's pretty cool. Uh, I like him very much. <laughs> nice words. Jeez. Um, I don't know how I'll do on the track. I haven't tried any of them out. Um, other than that, pretty good shape. Um... I don't know if these are supposed to be bent down like they are, but uh, it doesn't mind me. Um, should roll okay. No wear on the wheels, so it wasn't used very long, if used at all. Don't see any gear, so can't be that old. I have the original version of this with the polka dots. I don't like this version at all, the colors. Um, other than that, it should be okay on the track. The other one was, and this one's just a nicer roller. Got some major issues with this side over here and in the front. Other than that, pretty clean. Wheels are pretty worn in the side. You like the gold on them. It's rubbing off in the back, especially. Um, other than that, it's an okay car. Probably my second or third one of these. And I really do like these. Uh, I think they're re retroactive. Yeah, I was right. Retroactive. 
Um, this one's actually really clean. A little bit of the scuffing on the side of the battery and on the top, but that's to be expected. Um, other than that, pretty clean car. These always do well. They're really fast. Sometimes they come off the track, but I really do like these wheels. I really do. The black on the inside, really nice. That's one of my fastest cars I think I have right now. One of the coolest cars I got for sure. And one of the, I think one of the best is, I don't know what this one's called. It says R0937, which I don't know what that means. But here it is. Very cool. I don't know anything about this car, but looks cool. No wear on it. No scrapes. No nothing. Wheels are beautiful. And it rolls. Man, this thing rolls really nice. So, be interesting to try on the track because it's plastic top, metal bottom. Those usually don't do too well on the track, but... Or maybe they do, I forgot. But, it, I mean, it does look really nice. I'm expecting a lot of that out of this one, so... Hope it does well. Alright, we're done. One of my favorite castings would have to be this... Oh, what is it called? I forgot. Um, O10 Ford Shelby. The Super Snake. I have two of these, but I like the Mustangs in general. Um, these aren't the new 2015 Mustangs, but they're still pretty cool. Um, wheels are perfect. Everything is immaculate about this one. Uh, what's the year on it? Doesn't say, oh, 2010. But, I'm guessing this was like a 13 model. 2013, so this one's actually in pretty good shape. Um, don't, you know, don't go off of my dates because I don't really know. Uh, got one more car and then I'm end the video here. Bash Cash in red. I have it in green. Um, oh, I gotta get going here. Uh, it's Christmas Eve, uh, about 11:30 at night. Uh, just happy 2016, you know, New Year's. This is Simon signing out.